Today's episode of Variant is brought to you by GoDaddy. Today on Variant, I'm putting Deadpool up against Nightwing, and is it just me, or is this an awesome matchup? Because I think this is a phenomenal matchup. Welcome to Variant. We love comics more than the Abercrombie and Fitch's CEO. Looks like old Biff from Back to the Future. I'm your host, Eris Quinones. Today we conquer another Versus episode with Deadpool up against Nightwing. Now, some people may be saying, why not Deadpool versus Deathstroke? Wouldn't that make more sense? And yes, it would, but it's been done many times before. But nonetheless, Deadpool's a BA assassin, and Nightwing's so BA, he took over the mantle as Batman for a while. So let's see who would beat the piss out of who. As I always do, let's start off this Versus episode with some backstory for each character, starting with the Merc with the mouth of Deadpool. Deadpool was first introduced in New Mutants issue 98 in February of 1991. That's right, he's a 90s baby, just like a lot of you guys watching. Deadpool was created by Fabian Nichezza and Rob Liefeld, who's also known for drawing possibly one of the worst and definitely the bustiest Captain Americas ever. I'm not even sure what's going on there. As for Deadpool's origin, his real name is Wade Wilson and was born as a normal person to a highly dysfunctional family in the small town of Ohio. He ran away as a teenager and bounced around the country like a little gypsy, all the while getting military training from various sources. He was eventually diagnosed with an incurable cancer, at which point, in hopes to cure himself, he volunteered for a subset of the Weapon X program that was attempting to give a normal human Wolverine's healing factor. The experiment ended up accelerating his cancer, leaving his whole body horribly disfigured, basically looking like human taco meat. He also became severely mentally unbalanced as a result of it. Thinking he was a failed experiment, the facility sent him to a place with other failed testes. I just said testes. Testicles. Being with the other failed experiments from the program, the prisoners would take a pool called a dead pool on which one of them would be killed next. Selected Wade was beaten to the brink of death before his newfound healing powers kicked in. He then escaped and became the Merc with the Mouth, ironically choosing to call himself Deadpool. Deadpool is pretty much the perfect hybrid of Punisher and Spider-Man. He's an anti-hero just like the Punisher, but he's a wisecracker just like, if not more so, than Spider-Man, always breaking the fourth wall with all his quips and pretty much just talking the ear off anyone he's fighting. And let's not forget his love for Mexican food, and who can blame him? Who doesn't like a good taco? As for Nightwing, his real name is Dick Grayson. He first became Nightwing in Tales of the Teen Titans, issue 44. Dick is most widely known as the first Robin, making his first appearance as so in Detective Comics, issue 38, in April of 1940. After several years of fighting by Batman's side, he would decide he's ready to fight with others his own age, at which point he joins forces with Kid Flash, Aqualad, Wonder Girl, and Speedy, forming the Teen Titans. And even though Robin is one of the few members on the team without super powers, he still becomes the group's natural leader due to his experience and intelligence. Due to Dick Grayson's newfound independence and duties with the Teen Titans, this left him way less time for his former commitments in Gotham. Batman wasn't pleased with that and tells Dick that if he no longer wants to be his partner, he will have to retire the role of Robin. Mad, confused, and hurt, 18-year-old Dick Grayson leaves Wayne Manor, realizing that he's grown up and doesn't need Batman anymore to help him. He decides that in order to discover who he is and his place in the world, he must leave Batman's side. So he drops his role as Robin and his leadership of the new Teen Titans. After retiring for some time from the hero business, he is attacked not as Robin, but as Dick Grayson by Deathstroke, who is hunting the Titans. He manages to escape, he then takes on the name Nightwing, as well as a completely new costume. He chose the name in honor of another hero by the same name after being told the story of the Kryptonian hero by Superman. Post-Crisis changed things a bit, although the story of Dick Grayson becoming Robin wasn't greatly changed after Crisis on Infinite Earths, his origin becoming Nightwing did change quite a bit. In the Redone Origin, Dick Grayson decides to leave the Batcave and his role as Robin after a mission against Two-Face goes terribly wrong and Batman almost dies. After that, Dick Grayson embarks on a journey to find himself, which leads him to Metropolis, where he meets Superman. Asking for an outside opinion on what he should do next with his life, Superman tells the story of a hero from Krypton who has been cast out by his family only to become a great hero. The hero's name was Nightwing. After a short stint in Haley's circus to clear his head, Dick Grayson takes the name Nightwing and begins establishing a reputation for himself in Gotham City. Now you have their backstory, but what's really gonna determine the winner in this is what these guys bring to the table as far as powers and abilities are concerned. Deadpool's primary power is an accelerated healing factor just like Wolverine, which is depicted by various Riders with different levels of efficiency. This enables him to regenerate any destroyed tissue at a superhuman rate. So when he stabbed, 
wound, gunshot, etc. It would just heal in a matter of seconds or minutes. This power also makes him immune to all known diseases. Deadpool's healing factor is so strong that he survived complete incineration and in getting his head chopped off numerous amount of times, though his head had to be reunited with his body in order to heal the wound. So pretty much having this healing factor makes him extremely hard to kill and injure, although not impossible. Due to any damaged brain cells rejuvenating at an accelerated rate, he is almost invulnerable to psychic and telepathic powers. Aside from Deadpool's physical advantages, he's one of the best assassins and mercenaries in all of comics, versed in multiple forms of martial arts and an expert swordsman, which he never goes in anywhere without his two katanas. He's also an expert marksman. As for Nightwing, he doesn't have any powers, but just like Batman, he does have the skill set to always be one step ahead of his opponent, which makes him extremely dangerous. He's a master detective and master of stealth. He's at the peak of physical strength and endurance and his martial arts skills rival even Batman's. He knows well over a dozen forms of martial arts and fighting styles. He was trained for years by Batman and then had further training from Richard Dragon. Nightwing is considered one of the best hand-to-hand -hand fighters on earth and has made his own fighting style to play to his strengths. One of the most valuable assets is his incredible speed and agility being extremely quick and versatile. Nightwing is a skilled acrobat from his childhood in the the circus and is considered the best human acrobat in the DC universe, only rivaled by Deadman. His acrobatic skills combined with his agility make him very hard to hit in a fight and he combines these skills with his fighting skills to perform moves that no other human on earth can perform. He is armed with twin escrema sticks, he uses them for offensive and defense weapons. He could also put them together forming a bow staff or for long range attacks by throwing them at his opponents. He has several modified batarangs called wingdings as well as a bunch of other gadgets. Nightwing is such a BA after Batman his apparent death, he took on the role as Batman, which that alone should tell you how skilled he is. As for weaknesses for the two of them, Deadpool is vulnerable to certain high doses of drugs and tranquilizers. He's also mentally unstable as a result to the Weapon X experiment. Like I said, his healing abilities render his brain unreadable to telepaths, but its constant healing also makes him highly unstable and prone to violent outbursts without being provoked, meaning he can't always keep a cool head, which could be very bad in a fight. As for Nightwing, he has no superpowers, so I guess you could say that's his weakness or his humanity is his weakness. But with all that said, you guys should know what to do by now. Go to our variant Facebook. Facebook page where we have a poll on who would win in a fight, Deadpool or Nightwing, and cast your vote. That's right, you kitties get to decide the winner, and I'll announce the winner on next week's episode. GoDaddy Web Hosting delivers the most reliable hosting available. They call it fourth generation hosting, and it offers many features that the competitors don't. And right now, they got a great deal that will save you some serious cash. Use the code variant1 to get 10% off your order. You know, one thing I never thought to myself is I want to smell like the Hulk because that would be extremely weird, but apparently Marvel thinks all of us have thought that. In fact, they think we want to smell like all their superheroes as they released a bunch of colognes and fragrances based off their characters. I mean, what do these colognes even smell like? I would guess the Hulk cologne probably smells like sweat and BO. Wolverine's, I would only imagine, smells like cigars and beer. Captain America's probably smells like justice and push-ups, and Iron Man's probably smells like a welding factory or a blacksmith. Pretty much what I'm saying is, I love Marvel's characters, but I do not want to smell like them. First up for Wednesday the 29th, we have X-Men issue 1. The X-Women finally get their own book. If you're a fan of the X-Women, your dreams have been answered. Here we have Thieve of Thieves issue 14. This is the start of a new arc for the title, so if you have been looking to get into a crime book, this is your chance. Plus, it's written by creator of The Walking Dead, Robert Kurtman. Next, we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles issue 22. With the new live action movie filming now and their awesome new cartoon on Nickelodeon, people are definitely interested in the Turtles. So why not read where they all started in the comics? Here we have The Wake Issue 1. This is a new original series from the mind of Scott Snyder, writer of the new 52 Batman series. It's a sci-fi horror epic that explores the horrors of the deep, probes the origins of human history, and leaps far beyond our frightening future. Now we have Earth 2 Annual 1. The new Batman of Earth 2 debuts, and Adam begins a mission to lead the new team of heroes. But are any of them prepared for the threat they're about to face? And finally, we have Justice League of America Issue 4. The League uncovers the leader of the secret society of supervillains, but can such a diverse group of heroes defeat the collective 
collective might of the society, and in the backup story, Manhunter goes behind the scenes to learn more about the secret society. Well, that brings another episode to a close, my fellow comic conrads, but again, don't forget to go over to our variant Facebook page and vote for who you think would win in a fight, Deadpool or Nightwing. I'll be announcing the winner on next week's episode. Until then, you can also follow me on the interwebs at twitter.com forward slash Eris underscore Quinones, but I'll see you guys next week when I talk about all things comics. Welcome to Variant, where we love comics more than Abercrombie and Fitch's CEO looks like Biff from Back to the Future. I'm your host, Eris Quinn Ones, and today we conquered... What you doing? Wait a... You're not Eris. Nope. Yes, I am. No, you're not. I said it. I no. said I'm your host, Eris Quinn Ones. But I'm Eris Quinn Ones. No, I'm Eris. This is an I imposter. Th Wait. Now I'm really confused. No, I'm Eris. No, I'm Eris. I'm Eris. No, look at me. Look at him. Eris. I can't Aris. tell. Eris. I can't tell who's who. I'm Eris. Okay, ask you a comic. You both look like Eris. I wouldn't lie. Ask a comic book question. What's Wonder Woman's real name? Margaret Thatcher. He's wrong. Diana. Boom. I'm Eris. Imposter! Poster. <laughs>